After the last Branded Hero video, your boy decided to take the deck again into rank, climbing all the way up to Platinum 5. Not gonna lie, this took a lot of strain on me, and it was insane. Duels, it had me shaking, so why don't we review some of them, huh? You notice anything different? I sure do. More hand traps, and uh, a plenty. I decided I cut back on some of my hero stuff for more Branded and more hand traps, because when you get into Gold 2 into Plat 5, my god. You need hand traps. You need more cards that say no to your opponent, right? I put in at least one side frame of Gamma and Driver for a negate. I got, you know, the Maxis, the Ash Blossoms. I got my Classic Nib. I got Back Row Removal. I got my Call Buys, my Droplets, and my Cross Out. I want to get another Super Poly, but your boy is lacking on your materials. Everything hasn't really changed all that much. I'm keeping it at 42 because 44 seemed to brick more often. And then when I cut it down to 40, I wasn't getting my starters and extensions that I was hoping for. Now, like I said, the climb into Plat 5 was really good. Unfortunately, I only have my Gold 2 and Gold 3 duels because I won in Gold 2, then I got ranked down to Gold 3, and then I got back up into Gold 2. So we're just going to roll with the Gold replays. I promise you the second I get a very amazing duel, I am going to immediately save the replays. That's on me. This duel is your classic Sword Souls, but I think I know what happened considering I see Shaman of the Tenyi here. They couldn't really climb any further, so... But I just want to say one thing before the duel starts. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and just all around commenting for engagement on my content. I appreciate it. I hope you guys like my play-by-plays. I'm not the best duelist, but you know what? Let's see what we got here to deal with. Oh... Miracle Fusion in my starting hand. That doesn't really bode well for me. Cross out, Droplet, Lightning Storm is always a plus, and Branded Opening. The only thing that really is disappointing is that I'm going first. This is a great going second hand. But Branded Opening to get rid of Cross Out. Okay. Alibur hits the field. Effect, get Branded Fusion. Then we activate Branded Fusion. I really hope I... <sighs> See, this is what's dangerous. I should have held on to my Cross Out. Because if they were to Ash that, I had no plays at all. But they didn't, luckily, because I don't think they had anything. Or maybe they were saving. I don't remember this duel. Ah, infinite impermanence. That's what they were doing. I feel like I just want to run at least one imperm. Just so I have another cross out target. And even if I pull it in my hand, it's a win-win. I could still use infinite. But like I said, your boy is hard on UR materials. So considering they negated my Lubelion, I still had my normal summon. Which I grabbed Vion with Shadow Mist. And got my polymerization. I decide to Miracle Fusion real quick, don't I? Oh, that's right, because I misplayed and I sent Liquid Soldier to the uh, to the graveyard instead. Because Branded Fusion locks me into fusions. You gotta read the Branded cards. So, we use the poly, get Absolute Zero. Pitch another Shadow Mist, even though I should have held onto it. But, I set Branded in red. Because I have an Alibur and an Albaz in my graveyard. And they negated Lubelion, so... Let's go. Good old-fashioned Masquerade turn one, baby. You're going to be paying a hefty premium unless you're just going to Monk of the Tenyi, which that's exactly what you're doing, because they know the more you activate effects, you're paying a premium of 600 life points every time. Let's see. You still have your normal summon. So they decided to keep their normal summon. So they destroy their own Monk of the Tenyi. I don't know why. Probably if you don't have any monsters, so they can get them back. Oh, I love this. So, let's read. If a face-up non-effect monster you control is destroyed, destroyed by battle or card effect, bada-bing. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of those destroy monsters, bada-bing. Then you can destroy one monster your opponent controls, bada-boom. But may I direct you to a counterpoint, pow. Branded opening. So if this card is in my graveyard, right? If a fusion monster you control would be destroyed by card effect, which it was going to be, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So I get to keep my absolute zero. And then they really just decide to keep going. Heavenly Dragon Circle to get Vishuda. And then I think it's another Monk of the Tenyi, so they have Vishuda to activate in grave, I assume. Yep. They're paying a hefty premium. I activate Branded in red. I bring my Albaz back, and here's the fun part. Grab my Albaz, then I fusion away. I believe I choose Absolute Zero and Albaz to get Mirror Jade. Yes, sir. And that way, Absolute Zero's effect can also pop, getting rid of Monk of the Tenyi off the field, and this should be game good, sir. Goodbye to Monk of the Tenyi. Activate Infinite Impermanence. See, I don't get why they were going to do that. 
infinite permanence to negate my mirror jade. But I can... Oh, I guess I didn't decide to activate mirror jade because I didn't see a point. I can tell when a duelist is getting kind of desperate, and this is the desperation right here. They want to at least get something in their hand for the next turn. Because mirror jade is negated, so I can't banish an Albion. Yeah, I can't banish Albion, or I can't send Albion to the graveyard. So I could get another branded card, like set a branded trap. But they're pl they're paying a hefty premium every time they activate effects here. Maybe I should have activated Mirror J, but there was no target. So either way, he gets a Synchro out, right? He gets Shishao. I believe he also goes into Baronet. But he is activating so many. If he activates one more thing, he's dead. He knows this. So here's the fun thing, right? Here is Beronet. What do you think happens next? He has he has Beronet and Chi Xiao he can activate. But he's going to have to pay 600 life points to activate something, which means he can't activate Beronet's negate effect. So this is where the fun begins. Really wish I had nibbed that hand. But uh, I activate Mirror Jade, sending my Albion, targeting Beronet, get him out of here. Battle phase comes around, and I just do that. And attack with Lubelion for game. Masquerade Dragon is evil. The next duel is a Branded Adventure DP package. This one, I don't remember at all. I did not think I was going to win this because, you know, Adventure Package, it's a it's a hoot to deal with. But I think they fusioned away their Griffin Rider, which, why would you? You would keep that for a negate, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. They're going first, right over out of Masir. Let's go ahead and skip this because we already know what all of this does. There's the Wandering Griffin Rider. Sending Imperm. Interesting choice to send. Here comes Draco back. A Fallen of Alabes, so he links the way into Verte, and I believe this is where Fusion Destiny, yep, comes in. Alright, so we have DPE, we have the token. But he didn't equip Griffin Rider? Or not Griffin Rider, Draco back. Like, is Draco back flipped down, or is Draco back in hand? Either way, Super Poly to fuse both of his monsters away for a Starving Venom. Even though I have one Super Poly, that thing came in clutch. And I just had to gain attack with that. Activate Branded Opening. I'm not going to need Forbidden Droplet. Because he only has a token. GG's, my good sir. Super Poly definitely messed you up. We're going up against a Blue Eyes Ritual deck. Which is Blue Eyes Chaos Max. So it looks like it's a Ritual Turbo deck. I don't know... Exactly what I'm talking about when I say turbo decks, but you know, when you have incantations and all that, it can get you to get Chaos Max out significantly quicker than just running a traditional Blue Eyes deck, right? Right. Ever since I built Branded Hero, Blue Eyes is not scaring me as much as it did when I ran into the Link Festival and Salomon Great. That that was a fun time. Alright, starting hand, I'm going first. Branded Fusion, Branded in Red, Lightning Storm, Denier, Denier, wow, Malicious and Vion. So, Branded Fusion off the top? Yes, sir. Sending Shadow Mist and Alabaz. Lubelion Defense. Love to see it. Chain Link 1 Shadow Mist. Chain Link 2 Lubelion. Lubelion to pitch Malicious. Yes. We know the combos in and out. Right. So you resolve. And then we fusion you and Alabaz back into Mirror Jade. Cool. Now do I stop here or do I not? I still have my normal summon. So it's Vion. Then we send Denier. Yes. I love remembering my plays. It's too easy with this. Grab the poly. Do we go Sunrise? I mean, there's no reason why we wouldn't. We get a free Miracle Fusion off this and a draw too. So, you pop, you pop. Pull the Miracle Fusion off of Sunrise. And look what Soldier gets me. Gamma and Cross Out. Why do I always pitch Cross Out? Well, I guess if they clear my board, clear my board of monsters, Gamma comes in handy. Miracle Fusion, obviously. Lightning Storm, yeah, if they clear my board, I could wipe... Something in there is Brandon and Red set face down. What? Do I not have Alibert? I do not. Why did I think I had that? Either way. Here we go. The second I saw Incantations, I immediately went to Chaos Max. Like Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Like when they activated that, got Chaos Max in hand. I'm like, yep. And there's Adventure Troll Art. And here comes the boy Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. I would be scared. But, ahem. 
You guys know Chaos Max. Must be Ritual Summoned. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Do, we, what, do, do you want to know something interesting about card rulings and readings and everything? Specifically down to a T when, some, when a card says cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects? In order for the effects of Blue Eyes Chaos Max to work, say your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. It's a good thing Mirror J doesn't destroy. First of all, it banishes. And second, it doesn't say target. You can send one fusion monster from your extra deck to graveyard that mentions Fallen of Alabaz as material. Banish one monster on the field. It doesn't say target a card on the field. If you were running a specific monster or effect that says target a card your opponent controls, then Chaos Max, then Chaos Max effect would work to where it can't be targeted. Unfortunately, this is not one of those times. So that happens. Blue Eyes comes out. They try to battle. Sunrise, I agree. You know, hit me for the 100. That's cool. Now I get to set a little... Uh, I don't know why you max seed. He probably thought I was going to special summon, but I think he needs to read Albion. If this card is in the grave, that because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or set one branded spell or trap directly from your deck. I wasn't going to special summon the rest of this turn. I was just going to set branded opening. I already have a branded in hand, or branded in red in hand. Main phase comes around. We activate said branded opening. We get rid of Gamma. We get Alibur. Then Alibur to get... Ooh, I'm getting interesting here. I decided to mask change 2. I'm pretty sure this is going to go into Dark Law. Just like I said about my rulings on mask change 2 with Dark Law and Fallen of Alabaz. That to get branded fusion. I decided to activate Miracle Fusion before that. Liquid Soldier and Vion. Now we're going to get absolute zero hit in the field. Yes, yes. What are we going to pull off of this uh, wonderful Liquid Soldier? Stratos and Vion. Still have the normal summon. Branded Fusion. Love the consistency, buds. This is what I mean by you will love the consistency if you're a hero player and you slap some branded cards in here. Look at this. We can still keep going. Where do I go? Ferris? Honest Neos? I think I have to go uh, something else here, but I just keep popping off. Oh, this might be dirty what I do here. So, I'm doing, I'm doing a lot in this chain. The so chain link one is obviously my Shadow Mist. And then chain link two, Lubelion. I didn't really need to activate Lubelion here because I got rid of my normal summon Stratos. So I don't, I'm not sure what I was going to do. But we got Alibur. Fusion summon Lubelion and Alibur away into Masquerade. Oh, so I get that burn effect. God, this is dirty. I send an Iron Malicious back, and I get DPE. Look at that. Look at that, man. That is amazing. Oh, God, that's phenomenal because I branded in red, targeted Lubelion and Alibur. So then Lubelion was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I could totally send two cards from the graveyard back into the deck and fusion summon. And there's the Honest Neos pull. So we do this, get rid of the blue eyes, and I use branded opening to protect my DPE. Bro, what is this? This is so stupid. I, at this moment, I think it was late at night. I did not realize that this was a play. I did not realize that I honestly could use branded opening to protect my own DPE pop. That is nutty. Oh man. Okay, you gotta bring a, you gotta drop a like for that. That, that was, this deck is insane, man. You thought we were done with fighting Exodia, weren't you? Well, we're not. Keep in mind, this was in gold too. So if you're going to reach plat with a Exodia deck, I give you props, bud. But you're not getting a win through me. Not with my branded hero consistency. And I think, like, the first guy, the first time I'm like, okay, I, wa I want you to pop off. I want you to do stuff. This time around, it was late at night. I think I was deranked to gold three. Then I got back into gold two. So when I saw what he was doing, I'm like, wait, is this Exodia? Saw Treasure Panda. Sent for cost, activate Gamma. I'm like, nope. It stops here. There you go. Have you guys ever run into Infernoids or, you know, having, seeing Elder Entity Entis go to the graveyard? No? Well, that's what's going to happen in this duel. I, I, oh, I didn't know what to do with this. 
But you know what I do know? My opening hand, mostly branded. So branded fusion or Alubur normal summon to bait out an Ash Blossom. Aha, yes. So no Ash there. So Brandon, red we get. Activate Brandon Fusion. You know the combo. We get around going to Lubelion. And then do I stop here? Where, did they have toggleables? I don't know. But you know what I do know? I do not like seeing Malicious in my hand. So bye bye to Malicious. And we use Alibur and Shadow Mist for a nice masquerade. Burn you by your effects, good sir. Now, I don't have my normal summon, unfortunately, but that doesn't necessarily mean I can't pop off because, you know, we have Malicious and Grave. Set Mask Chains 2 and Branded in Red. Mask Chains 2 may not work because what is Dark Law? Dark Law is a 6, so I, I mistakenly activated that and I went to Masked Hero Anki. I thought it was going to be Dark Law. I didn't realize... I did not realize Malicious and Dark Law had the same amount of stars. That was on me. But you know, we still had the Branded and Red set. Everything's big chillin'. We target Fallen of Albaz. We Gucci. And I believe I fusion Lubel. Okay, get Lubel on out of there. That's fine. Because then, out comes Mirror Jade. I got my constant interruptions for cost with Masquerade. And then I have a, Lube I have a Mirror Jade interruption. But man, are they... Are they persistent in activating these effects? Well, you'll love this. Look at all these materials. Straight into their Infernoid Tierra. I don't know what this did. Do you know what I did? The second I activated, guess what? You banished. Get off of my field. I don't know what you do. You terrify me. I've never fought Infernoids before, so you're just not going to have it on the field. And then I saw Elder Entity Entes went in the graveyard. And I'm like, well, isn't that fun? And I had to send some monsters too, so... I activate Shadow Mist. Do I do I grab Ferris here? Because I don't think they can kill me. No, I grab Liquid. Oh, right, because via Normal Summon. So there goes my Anki. There goes my Mirror Jade. There goes my Masquerade. So in case they want to special summon anything, they'll get like maybe one battle phase. Yeah, this was terrifying because if they had another one of those Infernoids, that would have been death for me, surely. Oh no, I would have lived by 200. But they have another effect if they attack me, I believe. They can banish stuff from my graveyard. So Branded Fusion and my Masquerade are gone. Which, I know I probably would get Masquerade back. But then, of course, I just have Branded Opening. What do I pull here? What do I pull and what do I start with? Ooh, Normal Summon Start? Yep. Never underestimate your opponent. If you wipe their board, you want to make sure you have some sort of way to stop them from next turn, especially if I have a normal summon starter in hand. But even then, I had branded opening, so I, all I had to do was discard a card and then target stuff in my graveyard, fusion it away, and bada-bing, we got it. Welcome to the last duel of the video, which is Trap Tricks. I rarely fight against them, but when I do, they just seem to rock my world. So, why don't we see how this goes? You had Utopia, Baguska, Zeus? Access code, I agree. My good time thief redoer. My brother and Yami. It's a good thing I won against you. Time thief redoer just does me in. All right. Ooh, that's a nice hand. A nice Ash Blossom start. So uh, what do we do? We decide to Ash Blossom in immediately. I don't know when to Ash Blossom a Trap Tricks deck at all. But it went through. So you don't have your normal summon. But uh, you have Link summons. Trap Tricks Sarah comes out and then just set your back row. It's only one back row, so I'm not really that scared of it. Normal summon Stratos, get the effect. They Ash Blossom me. I could Mask Change, but I decide not to here. And they even Bottomless Trap hold me right here. I guess because they don't want me attacking into their Sarah and get rid of it, so... Oh, banished and negated. You know, that's fine, because... I had an Ash Bl I. Yeah, I got rid of your Ash Blossom. Now they decide to do whatever God's name all this is. But Branded Fusion. Here we go. Lubelion. And not gonna lie, for the longest time, I was really scared about Gravedigger's Trap Hole. 
but I don't think they could have activated it. When your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, or when your opponent's banished monster's effect is activated, negate the effect, and if you do, inflict 2k damage to your opponent. So if I activate a monster effect in my hand or graveyard, but they let my shadow miss go, I pitch my nib. Not sure I agree with that. But why would they... Maybe because I had the, the Lubel on interruption, but they could just target my Shadow Mist, right? Or did, or did I actually chain block that? No idea. Let me know down in the comments if I got that right. Ferris to send Malicious. Ferris, and then I have Mask Change as well, so this is going to be fun. Just continued for a full combo of sorts. Now, I think I activated Branded Fusion, so I can't really do much with what I have in my grave right now. I have a Poly. Activate Mal Actually, no, I could do... St hang on, let me just shut up for a second. I, actually, I can actually do a lot here still. Even though I can't link away anything because I activated Branded Fusion, that doesn't necessarily mean I still can't fuse because it locks me into fusion, right? This is a free DPE right here. Now that I got your attention, let's go into battle phase, my guy. Kill your Sarah. Smack you over the head with DPE. Attack with Ma Mirror Jade. Attack with Vion. Mask change into Dark Law for game, baby. This is why Mask Change is great because you can activate it even in battle phase. Woo! Okay, I forgot how good these duels were, honestly. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was actually a very fun pleasure. If you guys want to duel me, look at my idea right on the screen. Just make sure to follow me, and whenever I go live on YouTube, which will be soon, I promise, because we have. A Master Duel update with team battles, and I might grab the boys, and we might be doing something soon on my next days off. So be on the lookout for that, and we might draft you guys into some of our team duels. And we are working on a project, which is our version of a Master Duel Limit Festival. The way we're doing it is we're going through different types. Like, the first one was Dragon Only, which we did on Twitch, which since, you know, Twitch and everything, I don't... I, I left there, so to come over here and do everything full steam ahead on youtube so hooray for you and huzzah for us but never mind that we are going to be doing our own version which is type only for right now we're going to do attribute we're going to do fusion monsters can attack only link monsters can attack but you can have like a full deck of like whatever you want just only your link monster can attack like stuff like that stuff to limit the duelist and make it a good challenge if you guys think of any challenges let me know down below i'd love to see feedback on this but we're going to be running warrior only we might stream the event on my youtube channel and then i'm going to edit it down into like a what am i trying to say here I, not going to be an outright duel night thing from tsx1 because i love i love what they do but it's going to have the same feel or a similar feel to more of like a competition type thing to where you're not just watching a long stream it's going to be entertaining high stakes stuff like that so thank you guys so much for watching i love every single one of you keep being respectful to your fellow duelists you know even though we may run into some toxic decks remember it's the deck it's not the duelist so just respect everyone okay thank you guys i've been rev and i'll see you guys next time